In this presentation, we're going to look at compound Poisson uh, distributions and compound Poisson variables. Let M be the random variable that describes the number of claims uh, that an insurer receives uh, per month uh, for one of its claim portfolios. Okay, so it's essentially N is a conventional Poisson variable. We assume that N has a Poisson distribution with the expected value of N equal to 50. Okay. The amounts uh, xi of each claim in the portfolio is normally dist distributed with mean mu thousand equals 1000 and variance sigma squared equals 200 squared. Okay. The total amount of uh, all claims received during the period of one month is the sum. Here s is the sum, by the way. In other things, it usually means standard deviation, but here it means the sum of the total. It's the sum of all the claims, so it could be 400 plus 1,500 and so on, add them all up, okay? So it's the sum of all of the N claims. Now the thing about this is, we don't know how, what N is, and from month to month it can vary. So there might be 90 claims in one month, or, well actually, sorry, like the expected value is up here. So let's say it could be 40 claims in one month, and then 55 in the next month, and so on, okay? So with s equal to zero for n equal to zero, that's just a sort of little caveat, okay? And we assume that everything's all independent of each other. So the two questions are, uh, specify the type of the distribution of s and then calculate the mean and standard deviation of s. Now, uh, uh, implicitly, because obviously I just told you the name of this, uh, this is the compound Poisson distribution and that's the definition of it there, okay? So it's just a bit of a, a bit of a theory and so on about it. Now it doesn't necessarily they, there's compound distributions and compound Poisson distributions. So just actually when there's a compound Poisson distribution, there's a couple of extra things that you could use there. For example, the expected value and the variance. Okay. Now so um, yeah. So the first thing is actually state the answer there. S is characterized by the compound Poisson distribution. You might be able to sort of put in a little bit extra there if you have time, just to sort of something along these lines there, explain why it sort of fits in with that description there, this, this scenario, okay? But I, I won't dwell on that. The second part is actually asking for the expected value of the compound Poisson distribution and the variance. Now, actually, I just sort of gave them there before, here, and in many instances, you'll be actually probably able to just to sort of uh, state them explicitly, okay? By the way, here, this is a general theory, so here, what we're going to do is replace, here, using general uh, notation x, y, and n, so essentially what we're going to do here is just replace y with s for this our scenario, otherwise, x and n are the same. They're de denoting the same things. So anyway, so the expected value is straightforward enough. Now that is a little bit of theory there about it, okay? And just actually, this is a sort of little useful little result in how to deal with these conditional expectations because we're going to use them with the variance and so on as well. But anyway, in a nutshell, the expected value of x or s is the expected value of n, which is 50, times the expected value of x, which is equal to 1,000. So we expect the total uh, to be, the expected value of s to be 50,000. Okay, now, just something to remember in general, because I just it's gonna get used here shortly. I'm gonna talk about the, how to calculate the variance in a bit more detail than we're asked, but just something to remember always is the law of total variance. It's a handy thing to remember. You can invoke it uh, quite often without, uh, in these sort of definitions and derivations, you might be uh, able to use it and you can sort of bring it into your answer without having to justify it because it's usually considered as, take, take this as known. Uh, obviously, unless the question is, derive the total of, uh, the, the law of total variance. It's also known as the variance de decomposition formula. Okay, now, the variance of S is, Basically, we're starting off with this, okay? The variance of S is using the to law of total variance to sort of rewrite it as follows, okay? Now, 
the variance of s given n. This is how we sort of we can rewrite the uh, these uh, conditional variances here in the conditional expectation. Okay. And so essentially what we can do here is rewrite the expected value of the variance of s given n as the expected value of n given uh, times the variance of x. Uh, it, this seems like a big jump here to go from this here to this. But actually it's not. If you just sort of think about it using a few sort of uh, examples, it's uh, very straightforward. Uh, it looks like, you know... Um, it just it can be one can be re rewritten as the other if you use some sort of uh, real values there like like I was doing up here previously with and no, I, I left it there but if you use some uh, uh, real world numbers it sort of it starts to make click in very quickly okay so essentially what we could do is rewrite this entire formula as follows okay like this here okay. Now, uh, and then we can just sort of uh, expand it out a little bit further. So we have the expected value of n times the variance of x times the expected value of x to be squared times the variance of n. Now, recalling that this is a Poisson distribution, the expected value of x is equal to, sorry, n. The expected value of n is equal to the variance of n. Essentially, what we could do is de uh, decompose it into a product of the expected value value of n times that there so essentially this becomes the expected value of n or we can rewrite it as follows so we essentially have we just factor it out so the variance of s is the expected value of n times the variance of x plus the expected value of x to be squared okay so essentially what we're doing here is well we're picking up here essentially and we're just putting in our numbers 200 squared plus 1000 squared okay we were given them previously and yeah 50 times that so overall the variance of s is 52 million and therefore the standard deviation is the square root of the variance and that is the square root of 52 million which is 7000 211.10 okay Okay, we'll leave it there.